All right, YouTube viewers, this is Axter99, the very next day after the last video I shot last night of Ginger with her own battle scars where she's been scratching and clawing at her uh, mites and uh, getting the fur off of her body. There's been tons of hair all over our cage in the last day or so. And uh, as I said before, we didn't have the money to go spend at a veterinarian. Uh, to pay those uh, those kind of prices, so we're gonna try to treat her at home. We got our dog smelling our guinea pig, but that's pretty safe. So what we have actually purchased is, hey Ginger, we went to our local like um, feed and 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 cattle store and stuff like that, and uh, D and B Supply up here in the Northwest, and we've actually bought way more of this stuff than we actually need. We're only going to use about a tenth of a milliliter of this stuff. Uh, but this is actually Ivermectin. It's called Promectin brand. Uh, it's for cattle. A poron parasite, uh, parasiticide, it says, um, for treating the uh, mites and all kinds of different things. I mean, your mites, this kind of stuff. Um, so this is a topical thing. We're going to put it behind the ears. Uh, and on the back of the guinea pig and if you look here at the dosage it says recommended dose of course this is for cattle but it says one milliliter per 22 pounds of body weight so one milliliter for 22 pounds that means we're not going to be using very much of this stuff at all because these guinea pigs don't weigh that much maybe a pound or two pounds a piece and uh Hopefully Ginger's getting ready. At that same store, we was able to buy a syringe for, yeah, it's like 50 cents. Um, no needle. We don't need a needle. This is not going to be an injection. It's just going to be on the skin. After reading about it, this stuff is actually soaked in through their skin. So you put it right behind their ears on the bare skin there. And then you put it um, on their back. And what will happen is it will get absorbed through the skin and spread throughout their skin and take care of the mites. Because she does have some battle scars, we also picked up some of this stuff. Uh, this is about five bucks. Uh, wound coat, wound no, care. And this is just an antiseptic. And it's for horses, ponies, cattle, and dogs. And uh, so we're going to try some of that. Even though it doesn't say for guinea pigs, it should should work since it's just an antiseptic is all it is so hopefully that'll you know her help her healing process on this scar she's actually wounded herself with trying to get to the mites so you know you can't see the mites on the guinea pigs they're just too small uh, for the naked eye to see and right there you can kind of see her digging right there so she's definitely itching so we're and gonna go pulling her hair out. yep she's pulling her hair out with her teeth um, and she's definitely leaving herself scars so we're getting ready to go ahead and uh, apply this to her and uh, we'll be uh, right back as soon as we get her out of the cage here and we'll show you that process. All right guys, we got our syringe here. We've broken the seal on the bottle and because, like I said, because it says about one milliliter here uh, for 22 pounds of cattle, um, we figure these guinea pigs probably don't even weigh two pounds. so. We're going to try to do about a tenth of one milliliter, which we figure is going to be about the one, way less than this, that's for sure. One mark here is all we're going to use. And this bottle here costs us about $26, $27. But they didn't have anything smaller, unfortunately. So the way we figured it, if it is about a tenth of a millimeter for both guinea pigs, or for each guinea pig, we figure we've got enough of the solution to last about 10,000. This is enough solution to treat our guinea pig about 10,000 times. So, so we're going to go with just a really small amount like this uh, right here. As you can see, that's really not a lot. So, again, what we're going to do here is we are going to place it, uh, again, not on the wounds that where it's been scratching, but you want to place it on the ears, and then just kind of lift the hair up uh, 
you want about the middle of its back and apply it there and you'll see that here. All right, I'm gonna try to get a close-up shot. As you can see, we're kind of holding Ginger's ear here. And it's right here, right in the corner of her ear, right where you can see the skin. And that's where you're just gonna to wanna to apply a little bit of it, just enough to get it wet, I guess. You wanna be really careful you don't flutter with this stuff because you need to be careful, Ginger. Don't move, be a good, be a good piggy here. that on there mm, yeah a little bit problem is I don't I don't know if I get enough to work it squirt some okay and then let's do the other see if I can get the rest of this on the other thing okay you might need a little more for the back side Is it on there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it a little bit greasy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right, I would get a little trying to hide here. We did get just a little bit more because I barely put enough in the syringe to actually put any drops or anything like that on our ear. So we're going to go back and do this first here just a little bit more. And probably we just want a drop or two is really all we want. That's good. Okay. You don't want to put too much, obviously, but I think a common sense applies here. Okay, that's better. And then go ahead and lift up the hair on the middle of our back. On the middle? Yeah. Just expose this. Okay, about, what did I put, about three drops there? Yeah, that's perfect. Three drops uh, is perfect. Okay. Here. And then this one needs a little more, because you barely got any on there. There we go. That's good. Okay. All right. So she's been treated with the, uh, what's it called here again? Uh, Iv Ivermectin is what we treated her with. Topical solution. Uh, we decided not to go with any kind of, you know, injections or anything like that. Um, any kind of oral in, uh, ivermectin. We saw that you could actually order that cheaper than buying a whole big bottle of this. But let's go ahead and put a little of this uh, wound dressing here on her where she's been scratching too. Okay. You have to move her. It's Zoe. Okay. 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 Yeah, she's fine just like that. I can get to her there. Okay. You can kind of hold, move your hand out of the way though. Shake it a little bit. And this is to get, just, again, just an antiseptic. Whoa, Ginger. Whoa, it's purple. Whoa, it is purple. That's weird. Okay, let me get it a little bit lower. That's kind of cool so you can see where you're spraying it. Okay, yeah, that's good. I don't want her to be able to lick it off or whatever. Huh. Ew, my finger is even purple. <sighs> is it going to... Dye my guinea pig purple? I don't know. Well, it doesn't say anything about it being purple here, but uh And my fingers dyed purple. It's just an antiseptic here. Dyed her hair purple too. Yeah. But that's what that is. And uh hopefully that'll help her out. We'll let you know the status of her and kinda show her to you over the next couple of days. But we have done our best to treat her here. Uh, our best short of taking her to a veterinarian. How you doing, Ginger? Huh? How you Look doing, how girl? She's breathing. She's stressed out. She's sick. Yep. What do you think, Ginger? Huh? What do you think, girl? What do you think, Ginger? 
Huh? What do you think, girl? Hmm? How you doing? You think that'll help you? Huh? You think that'll help you, Ginger? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Poor Ginger. Yeah, I was thinking that stuff was going to be clear, not purple. But that's kind of cool, at least you can kind of see where you're spraying it and see if you have sprayed it. Get over on that side and pet her. What do you think, Stanley? Huh? Is she going to get better now? Hmm? Are you happy that she's going to get better? Oh, you must be happy. You're wagging your tail. All right. Yeah. We've just treated Stormy with the same application just to make sure she doesn't have mites as well. So... Again, we just put it right here where her ears are and then kind of rubbed her ears a little bit. And you can kind of see where we got it wet. It just took a couple of drops from, from the syringe. A couple of drops on each ear is all we did. And then I put about three drops back here on her back, lifted up her skin, and then just rubbed it in. And she was really nice about it. She didn't squirm or run or anything like that. And just let us apply it. So I believe that will probably be plenty. Uh, a couple of drops on each ear and three drops of uh, ivermectin on her back is what we used here. So if she has mites, hopefully that will help her out. And then Ginger, I still don't think is feeling great. Um, this stuff does take a few days to work from what we're reading. And, uh, you know, you reapply it maybe every week and a half or so if uh she looks like she's still scratching everything so that's what we'll do and we'll let you know like i say zaxter 99 let you know that we've treated our guinea pigs for the mites and now it's just a waiting process to see if they get better we're going to continue to treat ginger as well on our sores with this uh, purple antiseptic spray probably <laughs> once a day or so and hopefully they're her sores where she'd been scratching all heal up. So, as you can see, I think she's still itching a little bit. And like I say, this takes this stuff takes a little while to get absorbed through their skin and start killing the mites. So, hopefully it'll help her though. Alright, with that, signing off for Zach 99. And we'll let you know.